Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to decimals and rounding to a given place value. Let us look at an example here. Let's say we want to round this number, round 0 0.8375 to the nearest thousandth place. To the, we want to round this one to the nearest thousandth place. thousandth place. So what is a thousandth place? 1 over 1000. 1 over 1000. So let us write this down, explain this in these different steps. Step number one. Write the given number down the way it is given to us. 0 0.8375. So the, the number just next to the decimal place decimal point is the tenth place, this is the hundredth place, and then three is in the hundredth place, seven is in the thousandth place. So seven is in the thousandth place. So this is our given place value. Let's identify that. That is our given place value. Let's write that down. Then what we need to do is we want to look at the number just to the right of it and then make a decision. If that number is, if the number just to the right of 7 is 5, 5 is equal to 5, since 5 is equal to 5, we increase the number um, at the given place value by 1 and drop all the digits to the right of 7. So how do we write that? We're going to write that as 0 0.838 and then we're going to uh, um, uh, make that 5 as equal to 0. So as step 2, we're going to then come back and then uh, state this as the number 0.8375, the given number 0.8375 can be rounded to the nearest thousandth place as equal to 0 0.8380 or we can just write this one as 0 0.838 and then without the 0. That is fine as well. So that is where we want to leave it. So let us look at another example. Let us look at another example as to how to round um, decimal numbers to uh, using, the, using the place value. So in this example, let's say we want to round a number which is 3 point five nine six three to the nearest hundredth place we want to round it to the nearest hundredth place let's write that down hundredth place and what is hundredth place one over one hundred so we can think about it in that manner so therefore let's write these different steps to uh, round this number step number one write the given number down three point five nine six three and identify where we want to be where we want to be is in the hundredth place so five uh, is in the tenth place and then nine is in the hundredth place so this is our given place value let's write that down that is our given place value and now that we have identified the given place value, we want to look at the number just to the right of it, just to the right of the given place value, and then make a decision now. 6 is greater than 5. Since 6 is greater than 5, we increase the number 9 by 1 and drop all the digits to the right of 9. So therefore, the way we can write this one is as follows. 3.5. Uh, when we add 1 to 9, it becomes 10. So we, we place that number as 0 and then carry 1 to the 10th to the place and then the 5 becomes a 6. So we add 1 to the 5. So 3.6000. So that's the way we want to write it out. And now, as step number 2, we can come back and then state this as the number... 3.5963 when we round it to the nearest hundredth place we can write that number as 
zero 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 or we can also write write it out as three point six and drop the rest of the zeros the zeros after the decimal place does not make any any sense so this is the way we want to be able to use the place value to be uh, to round a decimal number in my next presentation we shall see how to perform addition with decimals.